Good morning, folks. Uh, in this experiment, uh, what I'm we're going to do is uh, uh, use a piece of aluminum uh, on the back of the uh, graphite for the anode and, uh, and make the cell. And what I'm expecting to see is it uh, is a much slower self-charge rate, um, but it should still charge up, I'm thinking. And it'll probably be a, a lower voltage, too, because we're switching from uh, zinc to aluminum. And so we'll, we'll do that and then uh, and test it, and then we'll flip it over and uh, put the titanium on the aluminum and rebuild the cell and see what the difference is there. Okay, so... Let's get started. I, I put a little citric acid in the in the microspheres on this one, just for make it simpler. But it's basically the same uh, same materials. Okay. Titanium dioxide and lime, like before. Well, look at that. We've been getting the same uh, voltage as we were getting with the uh, with the zinc, so there is no uh, difference. You can with that it's still jumping around, but probably needs to stabilize. Looks like it's slight. It's like it's climbing. It was over 110. We're certainly jumping around a lot. Come on. There's now. It's, nope. Oh, I saw 111. Taking a long time to stabilize. There it went. Looks like it's stabilizing. Come on. So we're. Well, now I'm jumping all over it, huh? So we're about 110. Let's go ahead and, and uh, discharge it. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time watching the meter. see what we get here. Look at that. I'm not showing anything on that. Oh, there's, well, it's, it's microamps. That's, that's pretty bad. Hmm. I would expect it to produce more amperage than that. <laughs> Uh, 
this again. And the voltage is more stable and it is climbing up. Still jumps around though. So this is fairly surprising. I got more voltage than I thought, but way less amps. And a lot of jumping around. I don't think it's shorted out in there. Alright, let's uh, flip it over now and try it with the aluminum in the middle and see if just the opposite happens which I bet it will, we'll have a lower voltage but higher amps. wants to bet. You want to have a... I bet this is just the opposite of the last one. Alright, there's our negative, positive. It's lower voltage, but not much lower though. And it looks like it wants to... Uh, no, I was going to say it looks like it wants to discharge, but now it's coming back up. It's now it's climbing steadily. Well, let's see how high it climbs. Oh, now it's going back down. It's cycling itself, it looks like to me. Here it goes back up. like it to uh, it's cycling but the uh, the interval is there not the interval but the, uh, the height and the valleys you know the, seems to be less and it looks like it's going to end up stabilizing right around 80 and when that's about what you would expect with the uh, aluminum but just the single side it's usually around 6.65 all right so we've pretty much stabilized right around 0.83 all right now we should have more voltage this, or amps this time I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're at uh, way more. I mean, it's not a great a lot, but it's still way more than uh, it was microamps. So it looks to me like you get a much better results if you if you keep uh, metal and and don't use two uh, two pieces of carbon all that is a who knows it's going to take a lot to figure it out i like to have an all carbon biocell though so now 
Yep, back to 80, 83, 0.83. So the self charge is still there doing this, although it's a lot more erratic. There we go. And the, the, the amps is, a, is real consistent on it. I mean, look, we're on a dead short, and it's, it's pretty much holding right there. Even climbing. Oh, well, look at there. Now it's climbing up. Now, if you could find a way to keep that voltage high and and that amp's real consistent. I mean, we can see that sometimes it, it, there's it just wants to sit there and hold. And I know the voltage can be slowly dropping on the other side. consistent the amps are. Hmm. Look at that. Now it's just ramping up. Look at this. We're up. would consistently produce a real high amperage and hold it like that. Wouldn't that be something? It's going to be interesting when we get the equipment set up to, to data log all this stuff. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.